Hello everybody. Well, it's Thursday morning in an overcast and slightly drizzly Broward County. <coughs> Before I go any further, let me just remind everybody, stick around to later in this video because I'm going to show you a tremendous tool that you can use while watching my live stream thunderstorm videos. You're going to find this absolutely fantastic. <coughs> but first, let me explain what's going on. It's just barely drizzling right now. And uh, what happened is I'm, I'm kind of tired. I thought there was going to be a thunderstorm late last night, like around 11, 12 o'clock. But I saw uh, at around almost 10 o'clock, uh, according to the Weather Channel, it, it, it wasn't, it wasn't going to happen. But they assured me, well, according to what was on the weather, weather.com, there would be a storm coming in right around 4 o'clock. So I go to sleep, and I always wake up a couple of times in the night go to the restroom, whatever, you know. So um, I get up around 3 o'clock. I look outside, nothing. And then I checked on my cell phone here uh, to see uh, if there's any uh, system coming in or any, any lightning, whatever. Again, it showed nothing for the next few hours, not until at least about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock this morning, Thursday, Thursday. By the way, in case you didn't know, the name Thursday comes from the ancient Greek god of thunder, Thor, Thor's Day. So I thought, hey, it would be kind of great, you know, have a thunderstorm on Thor's Day. Uh, so, again, later in the morning when I checked, same story, nothing. So I'm still waiting. But I want to tell you a little bit about why I, I am so fascinated by thunderstorms and what what sparked my interest again after all these years and why you're going to start seeing especially this 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 year starting in hopefully even today but at least in the next few months during thunderstorm season why I'm going to try to to record as many thunderstorms as I can and as I said before I'm going to show you a tremendous tool that you can use while watching my thunderstorm videos live stream now I'm starting to feel a little bit more drizzle so let me get out of this uh, rain, what, or drizzle rather, and uh, tell you a little bit more about this. And I want to tell you a very fascinating story of something that happened to me when I was about four or five years old and why I'm so fascinated by thunderstorms. Okay, I'm a bit drier now. Oh, and before we go on, yeah, I know, it, it, Thor was not a Greek god. It was a Norse god, sorry. Anyway, I'm going to tell you why I am so absolutely fascinated by thunderstorms and I wished everybody out there could have this experience it was unbelievable it happened when I was about four or five years old I was a kid little kid in Cleveland Ohio in Cleveland Ohio and I was watching through the living room window a tremendous thunderstorm one day and I probably would have forgot about that thunderstorm because you know you don't have that many memories from back then, especially, you know, and if you watch a lot of thunderstorms like I did, not, not any one's going to stand out. But this one thunderstorm, right in the middle of it, I actually saw a ball of lightning. Now, you might have read about it or uh, think you saw videos of it. And by the way, there's a couple of videos on YouTube pur purporting to show balls of fire. They're not. One is in Russia. Where the guy was like a dr Russian, I don't know why, he had one job to do and he couldn't do it. He was, the, the camera was all shaky. But you know what? That that wasn't a ball of fire. I don't know what that was. It was a reflection if you see it on YouTube. And there's another one from, uh, uh, I think it was Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Supposedly a ball of fire. Again, that was, probably it was a firefly. That wasn't a ball of fire. What I saw was a ball of fire. And it was unbelievable. It, it was, I would say, I saw it very close up. It was right across the street, so it couldn't have been more than about a, maybe 150, 200 feet away from me at the most. And, and, it, and it, this, the strange thing was its trajectory. It was a ball about, I'd say about no, not much more than a foot to two feet in diameter. It was was fairly small, but a foot to two feet in diameter. And it came down from above, and that was absolutely fascinating it did sort of a twisting trajectory. It it went just above ground level, about not more than about five or six feet above the ground, and just went through. I mean, you know what? 
any description I do of it absolutely does not do it justice, but it was burned into my memory. And uh, so that's what's behind my fascination with thunderstorms. Also, I happen to live here in South Florida. This is the thunderstorm capital of the United States. Why is that? Just look at a map. It's a peninsula, and on both sides of the peninsula, we have warm water. The Gulf, uh, uh, the Gulf of Mexico to the west, and the Gulf Stream to the east. And Florida is right in the middle. And when those air masses get together, there's your lightning and thunderstorms. So anyway, what happened was, uh, you know, I'm, I was sort of fascinated by thunderstorms. Uh, I always enjoy watching them. I love the sound of them. If, if there's a thunderstorm at night, uh, I, I, it makes me sleep much easier. I'm one of those types. But what sparked my interest in it again was... Uh, a couple weeks ago when I did a live stream video Some of you might have seen that video. I'm gonna have a link to it below. It was April 19th And what happened was it was fairly late at night like pushing midnight and uh, I You know what? I actually sort of went grudgingly to do it. I went to a nearby condo went up to the fifth floor My wife begged me oh come on. What are you stupid? It's it, going late in the middle of the night to do a video I said listen I promised everybody and so I went somewhat reluctantly I admit grudgingly but once I was set up and started recording the thunderstorm and it wasn't even that great of a thunderstorm if you've seen it like I said I'll have a link below no great shakes it was uh, there was lightning strikes but it was away in the distance so it wasn't really a tremendous thunder I wouldn't consider it a tremendous thunderstorm video lasted for about 45 minutes uh, but something clicked while I was doing it. Something clicked in my head, and it had to be that childhood memory of uh, of that ball of fire, a ball of uh, lightning that I saw. It, I, I'm sure of it. And and right then, as soon as that clicked in my head, I knew I had to continue doing live streams of thunderstorms, including hopefully today. But I'm starting to doubt it. It's starting to get a lot clearer now. So, but don't worry. We're going to have more uh, live streams of, of thunderstorms. Whenever I'm going to try to do as many as I can. Now, uh, what I want to show you in just a moment is a tremendous tool that you can use that's going to make it much more fascinating to, uh, uh, to watch my thunderstorm of, of live streams. I'm going to use it myself. I'm going to, I'm going to take a... Uh, uh, fire pad with me and what it is it's uh, it's uh, lightningmaps.org I'm gonna have a um, information about it below and what it's what's tremendous about it 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 shows maps of lightning storms from almost everywhere in the world including obviously South Florida and right now I've been monitoring the Bahamas because there's a big system a low pressure system there uh, and I'm seeing lightning strikes there. And what's great is you can, I'm going to show you, you can actually set it so when there's a light, and it's almost real time, it's maybe a two second delay. And, and as, when there's a lightning strike, you're going to hear a click. You could set it so you can hear a click, and you're going to see expanding circle around, around it, expanding out. And that represents the sound wave from the thunder. Okay, we're on lightningmaps.org. You see it here? Here's the address, lightningmaps.org. I recommend everybody bookmark that for my future, maybe hopefully today, uh, uh, a, a thunderstorm, a live stream. I uh, don't know yet. Uh, and, oh, and you see here, you can, yeah, see here, enable, you can enable, you can enable the sound. So you're going to hear a little tick sound. Now you see here? You see how the uh, the circles that represents the sound wave from the lightning strikes. There, there's a bigger map of it. So you see that the the lightning, it's that uh, low pressure system that's now in the uh, northwest Bahamas, kind of hovering off the coast. Now, if it can ever make it over here, hopefully later in the afternoon, we will have lightning strikes. I hope. Uh, but for now, yeah, you see there, you, I don't know if you heard that tick. What you want to do is also, 
See here, you can maximize the sound of the tick. You see, you see there, you see that expansion? Now, it right here, this is important. You see that, okay, so that's, that represents 10 miles. It looks like about a half an inch represents 10 miles on the map. And obviously, as you get closer in, there, it, you could see it in more detail. Now, here's what I recommend everybody do. When you watch my live streams, you see here, Fort Lauderdale, I'm going to give you an area. A, a, I'll be within one mile of where you're going to see this. It's uh, look for it's uh, off commercial. It's a it's the uh, intersection. I'm going to be within one mile, usually of the of the uh, intersection of uh, of the intersection of uh, here we go of commercial, which is 870. Look for 870. Just see here. There's State Road 870. I'm about 12 miles west of the beach, so just go west. Hone in, and here, at Commercial Boulevard and University Drive, there, right here, I'm going to be within less than one mile of that ground zero. So center it there, and then what you do is you pull back until at least you can see the ocean. That's probably, yeah, right here. This is where I'm going to be, right here. So if you're... If you're about like that, where you can see at least Pompano Beach up here and Coral Springs up here, um, and that'll give you a pretty good idea. And what, you, what's going to happen is you're going to see the lightning strikes and the sound wave expand. And while you watch that, it's about a two second here. This is a 1.9 second delay. It's about a two second delay. Uh, you're going to uh, hear it hopefully over my uh, cell phone uh, video. So uh, that's that's what I recommend you do. And then right now, as we can see, as we pull back, you can see this. That's where the uh, low pressure system is, and you can see see all those lightnings. Quite a few lightning strikes right now, off the coast. Wow! Look at them. Look how many. Boom! Boom! Just two more just fired up. So hopefully that's what we're going to see. Maybe today, but I'm I'm not I'm not you know it's it says like there's going to be a 85 percent chance around five this afternoon. You know I'll see it I'll believe it. So what I recommend everybody do is bookmark this page lightningmaps.org and uh, uh, enable the uh, uh, the click sound that helps. And then see you see now for example if I'm here where where you can the pointer is right now I would I would get the sound wave. Same thing here. Wow, look at these. Four went off almost simultaneously. There's quite a bit of uh, lightning thunderstorm activity there, you see? So that's about uh, a few miles away from it. And you see, you see, that's that's where you hear the sound. So um, hopefully I might see you guys later today on a live stream, but don't worry. We always have plenty of thunderstorms and thunderstorm season in South Florida. So just bookmark this, lightningmaps.org. And I hope to see you guys soon on my thunderstorm live stream from Broward County, Florida. Oh, and don't forget to uh, center it where I showed you at, at eight State a Road 87. I don't know if it's a State Road 88. I'm sorry, 870. I don't know if it's State Road 870 or County Road 870, but 870, which is Commercial Boulevard and University Drive. And I'm within like half a mile to a mile away from that and you'll have a pretty good idea of what's happening around me. So there is tremendous activity right now. Hopefully it moves to the west and where I am. See you guys later.